In this video, I'm going to demonstrate using third-party embed code in your site. This might include an Eventbrite form that maybe you created for registration for events. It might include a PayPal form that somebody might use to donate or join. It might include a YouTube video or a Facebook widget or any number of potential third-party tools that you might want to make use of on your site. So what we've done, I'm going to go ahead and create a new page here. I'm going to say add page. And I'll go ahead and put some information here. Let me open up a little tool that I have to give me some lorem ipsum code or words. So I'm just going to put some text in here. We'll give this a title. Now we have a title, we have some text. Maybe I'll do a little bit of formatting in my body so that you can see how this actually looks. We'll put a list there. Okay, now I'm gonna scroll down and I wanna put the embed code in. I'm gonna scroll all the way down to this section right here where it says body with embed code. And under here, I have two big buttons. One says add third party embed code and the other says add additional formatted text. So what I can do is use this first button to add embed code and then following that I can use the second, second button to add more formatted text on the page because the embed code has to be added as full HTML. So if I click on that it gives me this field here and this is where I can put my embed code. There is already some text in here that you will want to delete but it's there in order to make sure that the full HTML setting is preserved because that's what your embed code needs to be placed in as. So I'm going to go ahead and grab a Twitter widget here. I have this embed code waiting for me from Twitter, so I'm gonna copy this code. And now I'm gonna paste that embed code. Every third-party service will provide embed code in a different way, so you'll need to research that on that tool to figure out how to find your embed code. But I'm gonna go ahead and paste that embed code for this Twitter widget that we were just looking at into my page. Now I'm gonna scroll down a little bit more and I'm gonna use this next button to add more formatted text to the bottom of my page. Let's say I want some kind of a header and then I'm gonna add a paragraph maybe and I'll make that a block quote. So I'm doing this just so that you can see all of the formatting. I'm gonna make this a header. There's a block quote. This next line is not going to be a block quote. And let me just add a little bit more text. And I will add a notice at the end just to make this even more dramatic. All right, there we go. We have a notice, we have formatted text here. And now I'm going to go ahead and scroll all the way down to the bottom. I'm going to take this page directly to the published state because I want you to be able to see how this looks. All right, I've saved my page. It has the formatting that I put in there. I'm going to reload in order to get those tweets. Now the reason why I reloaded is because the very first time embed code is loaded, sometimes it doesn't load. So just refresh your page and then it will load the second time because you've now created it and it will load for other people. It's only the very first time it needs to be brought into the cache. So I just reloaded and there it is. Here's my Twitter widget right here. And then as you can see below, I have more formatted text on the page. Now the other thing that I want you to see is that here in the sidebar, I also have embedded an embed code. I have an Instagram widget here showing a photo from Instagram. So the way that I added that was I did so from the main landing page for my league. I clicked on new draft and then if I scroll down to here the body is allowed to have embed code but also under sidebar content this collapsed field set here I can add content into my sidebar and I've already gone ahead and used these buttons, which exist here, to add embed code 
notice that it formats it directly as HTML. So I made use of that and I pulled this from Instagram. So I went ahead and grabbed the embed code from Instagram and I'm just gonna go ahead and do a new paragraph here with more embed code. I'll paste it so that now there will be two images, not just one. And we'll scroll down. I'm going to take this draft directly to the published state so that you can see the change. And we'll probably have to reload again. Yep, so the pictures need to be loaded. Reload, and there they are. So now the embed code has worked exactly as I wanted it to. Just to follow up, you'll notice that I do have a YouTube video embedded here on my homepage, right in the middle, and that you can do as well directly from your homepage edit screen. Just like with every other page, under the body, there are these two big buttons in order to add either third-party embed code or additional formatted text, and the items will show in the order that they're listed. If you add multiple items and want to reorder them, you can do so. Let's go ahead and go back to sidebar content where I now have these two items. These little grabby handles can be pulled up and down, and by dragging them, you can reorganize them so that the order will adjust. We'll scroll down here and reload, and now you'll see that these have switched. 